Just waiting for this to show up here. Audacity test, test, test. That works. Okay. Ready? Almost. Just right. waiting for this to, to show up on Twitch. Sorry, I got a little bit ranty there for a minute. That's okay. Okay. And I think we're good. I got a call. <clears throat> okay. Two. I, I'm staring at the number. 254. Okay. <clears throat> episode 254. OS 10. OS 10 beeps at me that I have a new email. So now I know I have a new email. And I'm waiting for the notification to tell me that the new email is coming. And I'm still waiting for said. There it is. Oh, it's We Went Live. <laughs> it's Twitch that We Went Live. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? <clears throat> okay. Yep. Deep breath. Th oh, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. Delete that. There are regions on this track. No, just delete. I don't care. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 254 of the Security Podcast. My name is Hyam. Tom is there. Or I'm right here. Or he's a can of yes. soup. I don't know, but either, either way. One. I, I have fused myself through the miracle of science with a cup of ramen noodle soup. Behold. I feel like that's, uh, do you wear that uh, when you game? Is that oh, yeah. Like? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's great because not only does it say ramen noodle soup, but it also has like a picture of ramen noodle soup that you can't really see great in the green screen. Um, and yes, if you are watching this on video, my waistline has uh, seen better days. I mean, I was going to say, this is a reason to uh, subscribe either to the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel to watch it. Yep. So you can see Tom and his ramen noodle thing. Like I can see, <laughs> I don't know what other circuit, like, is there like a Quaker Oats one and like a Campbell's uh, You chicken? know, I don't know because this isn't even name brand. Like it doesn't say like Top Ramen or Maruchin or anything like that. It's just ramen noodle soup. Um, it's intentionally generic. So I'm a fan of all ramen noodle soup. So I have a confession. Uh, soups do not count as a meal. I don't know what you want to say. I, soups <sighs> are an addition to a meal, but they cannot be said meal. You can't have a meal of just ramen noodles. I I have, but it's not like just the packet, right? Like you've got to do something extra. So what I do is I take an egg and I crack it into that while the water's boiling. Get like I was going to say, protein I was going to put in like there. an eight ounce steak on top. Like this oh yeah, like I take... Be... I take frozen chicken, I throw it in there, peas, carrots. Like, you can really spice up instant ramen soup. And then I have it's my delicious. steak on the side. I, I, yeah. I hold that if it comes in a bowl and a spoon, okay, it cannot be the meal by itself. <laughs> now, with that said, I, I agree that salad – now, I have really weird uh, rule, uh, food food rules uh, for that. Like, salad, salad can be a meal. I can do a salad for lunch and be happy. Um, but ramen noodle by itself is not – is or a soup is not a meal so campbell's chicken chunky noodle no i can't do that i can't have that the other stupid food rule and don't at me at this or there's, a, <laughs> there's many of them don't yell at me and i will i defend this is that a dessert cannot contain a fruit or vegetable i'm gonna disagree with that completely okay. through just one thing one okay. thing alone apple pie Nope. Just apple, apple or apple crisp. Nope. 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 I have wow, to hold this. Okay. I, I like. I like. I like carrot cake, but I have to hold firm to my rule because the worst <laughs> part is after you have a really nice meal and you get like a fruit salad bowl and you're like, I just want the chocolate <sighs> or brownies <laughs> or caramel or cake. The cake with the you bite. You know what it started? You take the chocolates, you get the Russell Stover, and I, I swear I look at the map, and I look at the map correctly, and I take one. <laughs> one out of, like, the hundred chocolates there, and I bite into it, and it's, like, lemon meringue, and you're, like, and, and you're just, <laughs> I just wasted 150 calories. So I've, the way I've reconciled this is that if you want to give me an apple pie, that is called fourth meal. So fourth okay. meal. But dessert, which is optional. I cannot contain and 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 I will hold to this because it's like an oatmeal raisin cookie, the worst cookie ever. I love oatmeal raisin. Now that said, like I'm 
I'm weird and I grew up weird and I have a really weird life. Like literally my parents would buy me the like big Sam's club, Costco things, of candy bars, like the ones that they stock gas stations with. And I would have to requirement. I would have to eat one of those boxes per week at least. So I, I had like all the sweets and bad food for me, like literally shoved down my throat as a child. So as an adult, if somebody brought me like a very small bowl of fresh cut fruit for dessert, I'd be the happiest man on the planet. I love like just super light, simple fruit. Hell I yes. Mean, Give me that. Okay. So like I said, I reconciled it with it's called fourth meal. <laughs> and and that's how I do it. Um, I'm into that. You can't you can't microwave meat. We have that rule. Not, not the second time. Well, like you get okay, like a bit, okay. first time. The first time you don't. Yeah. And I also oh, yeah. have. I I don't micro. You. I know you do this. I don't microwave hot water. I don't boil water in the microwave. I do. If I so if I don't have time, I will absolutely boil hot yeah. water. If I do have time, what I'll do is I've got. I wish I had it with me here, but I've got one of those big restaurant like metal carafes. I'll boil it in the the big like glass thing the kettle it's just an electric kettle so i'll boil it there and then pour the boiling water directly into the carafe so i've got literally sitting on my desk i've got a thing of sugar and a thing of tea and i will just put the hot water carafe right next to me and i have got fresh tea while i'm gaming hanging out with people remotely on like discord or whatever we're talking on watching movies and i've just got hot tea all night long well, i live a good. wild life Look, I, I got myself uh, one of those uh, inductive uh, tea kettles. Mm. So you put it on and there's no hot to it. So, yep. I mean, other than the boiling water inside, there's no hot. So it meets all the fire safety rules. Anyway, and I know we are taught we spent five and a half minutes talking about food, but <laughs> this is, I guess, our Thanksgiving episode. And so I don't know when you're going to hear this. I posted last week's episode literally 10 minutes before we recorded. Uh, <laughs> so I wouldn't be that guy who's storing podcast episodes. But anyway, hopefully you'll post this on your way. Hopefully you're not traveling. So let's get off that. Mm -hmm. the, if you don't, if you live in the, if you live in America, if you live in the United States, I know we have some foreign people here. I don't know what your rules are, but uh, uh, right now we're in the middle of coronavirus. It is worse than it was in April. And that's just, that's a weird statistic, but because there was no testing in April and everything else. So we have the same number of cases that we had in April, but there was no testing. So whatever that means. However, it's really bad. And yeah. if you don't have to go anywhere, look, I want to celebrate Thanksgiving. I, I, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I enjoy going to people's houses for Christmas and the week off. And my birthday is in December. So I want to have all of that. However, I get it. So if you don't have to go anywhere, please just stay home. Just stay home. Your local restaurants, by the way, if you didn't know this, I'll, I'll give you a little Thanksgiving tip. Now, I keep kosher. For $250, I can get a 10-person Thanksgiving meal fully cooked, uh, delivered to my house, and I have to do nothing except pay them $250. And all I do is when I get it, I stick it in the oven. It's even carved. So you just take it off for two hundred. Now you can do much cheaper than that, but <clears throat> ten people, two hundred and fifty bucks, not a bad deal. Yeah. Um, so, as a slight personal anecdote, uh, my my grandmother was recently very seriously uh, hospitalized with with COVID nineteen, and it's no joke, uh, right? Like if. I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here, uh, but uh, uh, take take this stuff seriously. Minimize your travel. Don't go anywhere if you don't have to. Uh, I mean, it's it's not like just an, a weird, annoying cold thing or a weird, annoying flu. Like this is deadly, uh, and you don't want to have empty seats at, at the table or around Christmas, right? Like, look, if we listen, all... listen to the scientists, listen to your healthcare experts. Look, if we all take this seriously now for the next whatever, so for, get your flu shot, but if we all take this seriously now for the next few weeks, and I know that's going to take us through Christmas and the New Year, just think we can we can start in the springtime fresh and we can actually have fun because it's 
it's I live in New Jersey and the cases are low, like the the numbers are low and they're just exponentially going up and and you see people I see people walking around without masks and I see people do and it's just I what I I'm trying to be serious I'm trying to keep my kids in school I'm trying to be as safe as possible can we please just get this done it's if you heard today New York City is closing schools but keeping the bars and the gyms open because I guess capitalism I don't know I don't know what it is but we have Thanksgiving next week. Everyone's going to travel. And and people are saying, oh, my entire family is safe. They don't go out. Yeah, until your aunt went out to the grocery store or you went to somewhere or you were walking and you started talking to somebody. No one, ever, no one just says, hey, I stay at home and do literally nothing. There's always some risk and you're just adding risk. And it's one of those, well, so what? It's just me. No, because then you're going to go to work on Monday when we get back and you're going to spread it there and just wait till two weeks, wait till like December 15th. And this is going to be really, really bad. And then, then what are you going to do for Christmas? So it's one of those, just, we're asking everyone, please stay home. This is not a joke. Just let's get, let's knock this down so we can have more fun later. If, uh, if you want any ideas on, hobbies or remote get togethers with your family. I, I know that for Thanksgiving, um, one of the things that I'm personally looking forward to uh, is playing games online with friends and not like high powered, super technical need a $7,000 gaming PC stuff for, but um, there's, there's, I'm going to give a, a free plug to Jackbox party pack. Um, they're really tiny games. You can play it remotely with your friends and family over a platform like discord or skype or whatever it's something that does screen sharing uh and you can literally play like these little board games that they don't have to have the game they don't have to install anything they just go to a website it even works on your phone um and uh, i know i know you play jackbox stuff all yes. the time and it's it's great yes. fun it's social distanced it is remote you don't have to go anywhere or be in the same place and it works and it's a great time. So if you do want to get together with your family, there's stuff you can do besides, you know, firing up a video call and sitting there looking depressed. Trust me, I've been stuck in here since March. I'm going a little crazy. I admit it like everyone else, but uh, uh, there, there are things to do. There are things to keep busy and there are ways to get together with your family that's you know, fun, safe, and responsible. If you want any of those tips, I'm always available in the WhatsApp group, and I am more than happy uh, to talk about gaming or new hobbies that you can do remotely. Uh, I know just about everyone is sick of baking bread. So, hey, getting into gaming, perfect time. So our main, obviously, every Thanksgiving, we talk about how you can help your family. Now, we usually do when you're there, the first thing you should do obviously is back up and update and everything else. And none of that has changed. Literally none of that has changed, but maybe some ideas on how to do this remotely. So we always say the first thing you should do is back up. Always, always, always back up. So instead of, so what we said in the past is go show up to your family's house with some uh, hard drive and set it to hard drive, let it back up and then take, I was going to add, take the hard drive back home with you. So at least you have a, a, some sort of recent backup. But maybe this year, instead, instead you you get everyone, I don't want to say an Office 365 subscription, but that wouldn't be the worst idea, but some sort of cloud, cloud storage. Do Dropbox Family, which is, I think, $200. Uh, do set everyone up on Google One. Yeah, Google iCloud. Drive works great. Yeah. iCloud works great. Um, uh, even even OneDrive, right? Microsoft yeah. offers this product and you can easily pay for OneDrive for, for people that you're concerned about. So again, plug for Costco is they have Microsoft OneDrive six licenses for $89 for 15 months. So, but before you do that, check all, check your kid's school, check. Some of them also have uh, these services. Now it's not the most ideal to be using your kid's school email for that because it's operable and, and all the bad things. But if you don't want to pay for it, there's there's some sort of like really crude way. But again, we would say normally put an external hard drive, back it up for them, leave it, leave it there, turn it on, turn on automatic updates. You can't do that. Now you're going to have to walk them through try, trying to install OneDrive or Dropbox. The good thing is these are dead simple to install. So, and this you can do over a Zoom call or whatever it is. 
Yeah, I we've we've absolutely blasted Zoom to death on this podcast for their security shenanigans uh, or lack of sh- security shenan- shenanigans, I should say. Um, <laughs> but if that's what works, and frankly, they probably haven't installed already if they've done anything with remote teaching or meetings or anything else. Uh, I, I literally had to install Zoom the other day to have a remote doctor's appointment. It's not at all ideal. And yes, I did <laughs> thoroughly scrub my PC of it afterwards. Um, but there's a reason that it's kind of winning the remote meeting space and that it's super easy just to fire up and get working. Uh, and if that's what you have to do to you know, screen share with your family to diagnose technical issues or walk them through something, then do it. Um, right. You can be safe about it. You can remove it afterwards, but you know, right now the, the objective is to minimize risk. And uh, frankly, the risk of your cybersecurity is less than the risk to your health right now. And that's what we should be optimizing for. It's it's not a great place to be. I would love to have the world be perfectly secure all the time, but uh, yeah, sacrifices and trade-offs have to be made. And frankly, your health comes first. Look, I, it's, I've tried all of them. Zoom is the only, as much as I hate to say it, Zoom is the one that just works. Um, I have Teams. And as much as I like to stay with the same platform, so if I'm on Microsoft, I want to stay with Teams. Or if I have Google, I want to stay with me. Teams is a dumpster fire on all platforms. It is just awful, awful, awful. Um, but you know what? I'd rather have we're office 365 all the way and deal with some teams nonsense, but zoom just works. So if you can, if you can take your tinfoil hat off, at least for the weekend, install zoom and show people, show your parents have to use it. It's, I had to deal with people. We didn't want to have parent teacher conferences via zoom or by teams because we didn't know how many parents knew how to use it. And it's one of those, wait a second, you've been doing this for eight months. You couldn't figure this out in that time. If you fine, if you want to do phone, you'll do phone, but, but Zoom is a good way just to literally walk them through certain things. The other thing we were going to say is uh, if you're going to be remote, some sort of remote desktop app. Now, this is a harder one to recommend. I've been using TeamViewer, and TeamViewer is not great, but it works. And it's one of those like Winamp. It's, it's, it's always a freeware. Don't, you don't have to pay for it. You just can't use it for commercial. So every time you quit a team viewer session, they're like, hey, uh, we know you're using it for personal. We're just reminding you that this costs a lot of money. So please upgrade if you would like, but you don't have to. So you just have to hit OK at that box. But I like team viewer. It just works. It's you can leave it unattended or if you want the security, you can have your your the person tell you the user, the the it, it changes the name and the and the passcode to log on. You can do it that way. But to be able to remote in and change your settings and try and help them that way is prop is the next best thing that you can do. Yeah, I, I am going to make a plug and it's not it's not remote desktop like it you can't control through it but you can definitely view i'm going to give a plug to discord right it's not end-to-end encrypted but you can make a you know private to the world server not necessarily private to discord server um and a, a server implies a whole lot of things that's what discord calls it it's really just you can create a series of chat rooms and voice chat channels uh just for free with Discord. And it works really good. And the stuff is really, really low latency. The voice is fantastic. The screen sharing is super high quality, super low latency. Um, and I use it literally every day for my gaming groups. Um, if all you need to do is like have like a parent or coworker or aunt, uncle, whatever, just show you a problem that they're encountering on their computer, they can install Discord. They can click the little, you know, share my screen button and hit OK. And then you can see their screen and it's super quick, super easy. And you don't have that weird like Windows remote desktop, super choppy quality thing going on. It is really high quality. I literally use it to stream VR games to people who want to watch me play stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give a plug to Discord again, not end to end encrypted, but it's a tool that works. And these are interesting times. 
I'm a, I I like I've always liked the idea of a family, whatever it is, WhatsApp group or Slack group or Discord group or whatever it is. You can throw your entire family in there, your extended family and channel them off and everything else. I've always said that in my family, it ends up being WhatsApp. And the problem with WhatsApp is that uh, you can't screen share. So you can hold the phone up to the computer, but you can't screen share. But it seems to work. Everyone seems to get what they needed to do, and and some sort. That's an, that's another thing. If if all the tech stuff works, but you want to keep in touch, find some sort of uh, chat platform that everyone has and try and get on it. So avoid SMS. Don't do SMS. Do something else. Uh, if that's WhatsApp, uh, I don't know if I would do Signal. I think Signal is too hard. Uh, if you want encrypted, that's fine. Hey, look, if you want a Facebook message, if everyone's on Facebook messenger, that's fine too, but some sort of better thing. And I think, uh, Slack is good for that. I think, uh, discord is good for that. One uh, cool thing you could do with discord is that you can set up roles and like certain permissions on certain channels. So if you wanted to do like the, you know, the Thanksgiving thing where everybody's like in a voice channel watching football, you can create a voice channel just for that. And keep in mind, like Discord is free. This is super easy to set up. And you can do cool things with roles and permissions. If if you want like a room just for the younger kids to hang out and post <clears throat> memes or whatever, talk about Fortnite, you can actually create a room and say, okay, the adults aren't allowed in here. Anyone with like the kids role gets access to the Fortnite yeah. chat rooms or or whatever, right? Do you, do you want to have a room just to talk about football? You can make one. You can even block out everybody else who doesn't want to talk about football. Uh, and it's really trivial to do. So yeah, check out Discord. Uh, I think it works fantastic. Um, and if you sign up for Discord, also check out the Jackbox Party Pack because it works great with screen sharing. Get everybody into a voice channel, laugh, just build stupid stuff it's fun it's it's and, and i know it's it's a shift from okay we're just going to text message everyone i know in discord you can put bots can you do a birthday bot everyone put their birthday and then you I, can because that that's a thing uh all right your your virtual family maybe now is the time to learn about your family let's have i i, I dare i say we get some family trees going on uh we get some Maybe organize your address book and get everyone's address and phone number and birthday and this, that, the other thing. But okay, I, I still want to hold that if you can't back up, let's start with the backing up. We, we said get OneDrive, get Dropbox, get whatever. Uh, the next one is we're some sort of remote desktop software. I mean, I like TeamViewer. It's not, like I said, it's expensive, but it's not, but you can use the free version. Um you said with Discord, the problem with Discord is that they have to move the mouse. And when they have to move the mouse, it gets to be annoying. But you know what? That's the really, really cheap way of doing it. And that dovetails into your third thing, which I really like, especially for quarantine time. Let's get everyone on some sort of common chat platform that's a little more robust than text messaging. So you can actually actually have real meaningful conversations and you know that everyone's there and and that's because I think we're going there. We're all remote from home and to have discord up and to have a distraction in the day and it is good. And you can turn it off when you don't want to be bothered and you save the text messages and, and the more important things for important things. So I'm not going to be able to get my family to do that, but, but I don't know how much sway you have, but if you can, you can show them, like you said, you can have bots for all these things and it's really trivial. It is really trivial to do. Yeah, I, I really, really do like Discord. And maybe maybe it's Stockholm Syndrome at this time at this point, because I am literally in there all day, every day. Um, and using it for everything from you know talking to family members to talking to like my gaming friends to talking to my Dungeons and Dragons group. If you haven't noticed, I'm kinda nerdy. Um <laughs> and uh yeah, if you wanted to get together uh like some board games that you can play remotely. There are applications online that let you play everything from Uno to Monopoly to Sorry to Trouble to whatever your heart desires. I'm, I guarantee you there's an online version of it. Um, if you do have a system that can run PC games, 
Uh, there's a fantastic one that I can recommend called Tabletop Simulator. Uh, now that's a little bit more complicated to get going, but there are mods that let you do everything from play Dungeons and Dragons to just random board games. And you can play anything you want. They have basically everything available as a free mod uh, that you can just drop in and play with friends and family. Um, while you're saying that, I'm looking at Teams because I can... As much as I hate Teams, Teams is another Discord clone. It's obviously not as great, but it it integrates into Office 365. And and like I said, I like the one platform for everything. Uh, but that's the other thing. Now, as far as as far as uh, tech support, I think now we have to brainstorm into things that we're not going out. Everything does have to be virtual. Um, I've I've had to help people get email signatures and sign documents remotely. Uh, try and maybe figure out how to do that. Have your, if they, if let's say your family member, help them with your remote desktop to maybe get some signature files, like making not an email signature, but like their legit signature. So on OS 10, if you have a Mac, if you hold the little piece of paper up to the camera, it will insert the signature. But if you can't do that, trying to find ways to, I had to refinance our mortgage and to do things virtually is, was difficult, but we got through it. So try to figure out what those needs are. Okay. So maybe get some signature files and, and get them and get them on there. That also becomes really helpful. Just basically if, if, some financial document type things. Yeah. If you don't uh, have a Mac that makes that process super easy, yeah. what I've done um, is have a family member sign a piece of paper, yeah. like take a picture with their phone, what you can do is there's this cool free like open source uh, photo editing program called GIMP. You just download GIMP. Um, you take that picture, select by color, like select white and erase it all. And then it's on a transparent background. And then literally your family members can just drag and drop that, that image on top of the documents and drag their signature into place. And I've been doing that for probably a decade at this point, and it works really, really well. Um, so if you want uh, to, to help out your family members that way, it's fantastic, especially because everything's going digital. I mean, well, I, I wouldn't even say GIMP. I just did it strictly in paint. I was able to do it. Yeah. Basically, you sign a white piece of paper. Now, the hard part is taking the picture where you have to, if you have a scanner, that's the right answer. But if you don't, it's make sure you have lots of light. The flash is not like, you may have to do this hundreds of times. But you get that one signature on and everyone knows where it is. That's going to be a good thing. It's, I mean, I'm just trying to think. I know we all want to spend time together, but you can't. So you're trying to solve other ways. I think it just goes back to, uh, you know, your family really well. Now is the time you have a week left to try and figure out what they need. And if that means uh, buying something and shipping it to them, like a hard drive or something like that, or software or whatever it is that you can help them, that's the right answer. Or you start setting up, like you said, a Discord server or what are you going to do? So when the time comes, you can you can sit with them and explain, hey, this, may be, this is going to be definitely much harder here. But guess what? Moving forward, it's going to be easier now. The problem is, I think everyone says this. They say the, the pandemic is going away. We're, we're finally rounding the curve. We're rounding the curve. We just got six more weeks of this, and then we're going to go away. The vaccine's there, and I don't want to doom scroll, but but I, I think we're a little longer than that. I think we're going to be at least till I don't I don't know at least till the early to the late spring before we even can venture back outside. So we're going to be there a while, and if you have this time, try and do try to like. Try and find out what you can do. I can't solve, we can't solve everyone's needs. You can ask ahead of time. You can join our WhatsApp group and go that way. But I think the big things are always, we always say is back up your computer, run updates, and uh, try to have some sanity in your life. There's uh, there's also, like if, if you're all on some kind of voice call, whether it's, you know, WhatsApp, Signal, Discord, Skype, Jitsi, whatever, um, there's a bunch of streaming platforms out there that now have this watch together functionality uh, where you can just send each other a link and watch movies together. Uh, I mean, it literally just starts a stream at the same time and you can all watch like airplane or ghostbusters or whatever, right? Watch a movie together and hang out in a virtual call. And yeah, it's not the same as like cozying up and sharing a bucket of popcorn on, on the couch as a family, but 
you know, right now it's the next best thing. It's, I, I forgot to mention that to do a Thanksgiving stream of some Thanksgiving movies or some Christmas movies or whatever it is, the watch live now feature is maybe the, maybe your best answer. And I don't know, can you talk through, I mean, you can voice talk through it, but I, I, I've never done it. I, I think you, you turn it on live, but can you uh, have like, do you need an iPad out on the other side to talk? Oh, what I've always uh, done. Cause, cause we're all on discord is yeah. that we, we hit that play now button. We yeah. all join a discord call and I literally have my phone sitting next to me on my couch with my, my earbuds in and we just talk. I've got myself set to push to talk. So like I can run away and like grab popcorn and stuff without making a bunch of racket um but yeah it works fairly well it's kind of weird uh like watching a movie with a single earbud in and it's weird I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's weird but it works and frankly we don't have a better option right now so uh, it's tough and and like i said it's it's we all i don't know if we all thought this was going to go away sooner than later but it's not, and we're just going to end the show, is if you don't have to travel for Thanksgiving, if you don't have to travel, if we, you can keep it, if you can tell your grandparents, like, look, like, it's as soon as, remember, we can have Thanksgiving in February. Like, that's okay. Nobody says that you don't have to have Thanksgiving on President's Day. Like, we can change this. Let's, maybe now we go through it and, and just delay this gratification for a little bit longer. Let's get us all safe. And then hopefully, 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 uh, these vaccine candidates actually do work and we can vaccinate and we can all be together. And then we can have gigantic parties. You don't understand how much I want to go to the West Coast and see all my friends that I missed out in Vegas this year and and for all these things. So, as soon as I can get back on a plane, I absolutely want to take some time and 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 visit all my friends that I couldn't see last year. So, let's do this all together and let's let's hope for better times. Indeed. Okay, we're gonna end. Uh, you probably won't see us next week, so let's look. Let's regroup back in two weeks, and we'll see everyone in two weeks. Bye, everyone. See ya. Two fifty.